This is Alan Farley from FX Empire. General Electric reports earnings before the open on Tuesday morning. Uh, taking a look back with General Electric, you always have to look at the long-term chart because the stock, uh, to stock topped out uh, more than 20 years ago in 2000, posted a lower high in 2007, plus another lower high in 2016. So that's what we're working from. Uh, when you move into the present day. As you can see, it tested the 2009 low during the pandemic decline, shot higher, uh, taking out this high here from February 2020, and I'll move in a little bit closer. Take out the high from 2020 right here. Okay, and so when it did that, it ended the string of lower highs, so we could call this a new uptrend. However, not much has happened since that time. As you can see, uh, it came back up to that level, which also marked the 200-week moving average. Uh, made a couple inroads there. We got one reversal, two reversal, three reversals around the 115 level, uh, with this uh, line right around 100, and then the stock ops oscillating back and forth. Now, it did break down here in November, and you can see this going on if you take a look a little bit closer. See right here, you see this sideways pattern, sort of a rectangle uh, resistance, excuse me, support right here. So we do have a breakdown right here in November to December, came back up to this line, uh, sort of a re-entry into this line, resuming the test of the 200-day and 50-day moving average. And now it's selling off once again, and it's right back to that spot. I think bears have the advantage here on another leg down, and it's trading about 95 this morning. Uh, it gets even a little bit lower, then you're going to be confirming this breakdown from this sort of triple top uh, pattern, and then you're going to be looking at much lower prices, perhaps all the way down here to this unfilled gap in the mid-60s.